What's up? Hi. Are you having the best time? I'm emailing somebody. So just I had having some the, having the best kids time. Come over. So, Did you? Yes. And I had to order Whew. pizza. And then it's the best. You know, I don't know. It's yeah. the best. I'm so happy. <laughs> you sound so it's excited. so stupid the things that make us happy. I was like, I get happy when I clean. Like I clean and then I'm happy. Like, what the fuck? That's so lame. <laughs> I don't want to be happy from cleaning. I want to be happy from like, I don't know, playing video games or something. <laughs> like, what? I don't know what. I don't no, know. It's... Something mindless, you know? This, yeah. I mean, honestly, like, I think it's more along the lines of like, shit, I got to clean my house. And once you clean it, you're like, oh, fuck, it looks great. Like that feels good. Like I cleaned the house. Yeah. Like I accomplished something, right? I feel like when... I want to have people come over to the house. I want my kids to go to birthday parties. I want them to be invited to birthday parties. I want them to be invited to do all the things. But then I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to do it. Like, I don't yeah. want to entertain. I don't want to. I'm so done parenting. Yeah. I, I'm so <laughs> done with it. I, I'm like, how many more years do I have of this before I can just, but you know, they're like, oh, then you're a teenager and you never see their, your teenager anymore. And I'm like, good, fucking good. <laughs> You know what? It's I'm fine with it. A couple of podcasts I listen to, they like do the whole like you only have so many weekends or so many days or so many Saturdays left with oh, them. Oh yeah, and, I was and like, you can <laughs> you like, can donate twenty five dollars to save a panda, and it only costs twenty five cents a day, right? Like you can right. break it down in whatever kind of way. I know, but I figure they're still going to come back even when they get older because I have food and they might not have food and like they don't want to cook for themselves even though they can. Cause I've taught them well, but you know, they're probably, even my teenagers like, well, I plan on probably coming back so that you can like help, you know, so I can do my laundry at your house. I'm like, oh, sure. Of course. You know, but I, you don't, they don't know. We, I didn't know what I was doing when I was a teenager. And then, yeah. Anyways, I love being a grown up. I know, hate so being good. a grown up. This really? adult. Yes. It's just, there's so many things to do and think about. And then now I have these humans, these tiny humans I have to raise. And I think, I don't want them to be assholes. Like I want to raise them to be like good people and like contribute to society. And I worry about that. You, do you know, really though, do you a want, little, them, is that your goal? Like, do you I want do. them to contribute to society? I do. I do. Okay. And I, but, but I had, a, I had a realization and I want to talk about this because this leads right into tonight's conversation with our guest. I had a self-awake, like I had, you know, like my awakening, right? Like the spiritual awakening recently in the summer. And it, it couples with partners with my kids and everything like life in general. But, um, I realized that my children do not, they do not, um, define me, right? Like I am my own person. Right. And like the way that they are and who they become is not a product of who I am and who I am in this world. Right. Like they just kind of came through me and they're having their own. Are you just not listening? I'm they're listening having, to you. You said through me and I am going to have to say something after that about like <laughs> physically they came through my body, but they also like came through me in a sort of a spiritual sense, meaning that like, I am here to guide them, you know? So like, right. I used to be thinking like, oh my God, what are people going to think if my kid's acting like an asshole? And then they're going to, it's going to directly impact who I am as a person. It's not true. No, it's not. Other people's behavior does not reflect on you. Like your kids, like I remember, remember thinking that when they were like three and having a meltdown in the yeah. store and we're like, oh my God, yeah, this is so embarrassing. It's like, totally. no, you're an embarrassment to yourself. <laughs> well, you're three. You suck right now. Look yeah. at all these people. It's because of you. <laughs> it's because you suck. That's on you. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't kind of going that direction. I was kind of thinking like, you know, I'm just here to guide you and you know, the, the journey and the path that they're on, I just am here to you know, help, help them along the way. It's not like a direct yeah. reflection of like me as my, I am my own, I am my own person. I'm having my own experience, you know, and, and I'm experiencing life with you and we're doing it together, but you have your own things going on. So I You're hope so tan. I love I how tan? tan you are. Yeah. I love it. So good. Do you Everything's like getting pasty here up North. You know, it's like, there's no sun, there's no bathing suits. So you're do we're, you're getting, doing we're getting pasty. You're I'm going to run out of wine. No, you're doing I'm your good. thing. You're doing your thing where you change, where you change gears. Cause you like get, you get, it's like the ADHD thing where you're like, sorry, I'm, I'm tired of this focus? part of this. No, no. You're like, I'm tired of this part of the conversation. No, we're good. We're good. I love it though. Cause it's like, it's like, <laughs> a, it's a, it's a good steering of the ship. Cause I was like steering it this way. And you're like, no, let's go this way. Um, I have to tell you when I came to visit you a couple of years ago, I remember thinking, 
wow, everybody's really pasty. Yes. I remember you saying that you're like, everyone is really pasty. And I'm like, well, that's hi. How are you? Hi, how's it going? We're good. We were just talking about how the northerners are getting pasty and I am still tan. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's- I love it. I yeah. love it. We're up north. Ginger, I don't know where are you, you are. Are you from up north? Yeah, we're in Michigan. So oh. it's starting to get cold and my tan that I kind of had is gone. And it's, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's that time of year. Yeah, totally. I'm spray tan. It. So <laughs> I was going to say, you're not really tan. Like you're, when you tan, like you're, you're like still in jeans and like long sleeve shirts, even when it's like 90 degrees in Michigan, you're fully. never really fully tan. So fully. Yeah. But well, I mean, are, this is what you get. This is as tan as I get, I guess you are extra, <laughs> you are extra pasty though. Um, Sabrina, I'm so happy that you're here and we finally were able to like connect because we've been trying a couple of times. I know, me too. I'm so excited to be here. I feel like we chatted about this so long ago, um, but I hope, is my internet okay? Because it always seems like when I need Zoom, my internet is spotty. Um, no, and it was good. spotty it a little bit earlier today. Okay. Okay. No, just let me know. I'm just no, going to close this. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. So you're, oh. You're in the northern states too, correct? Like you're, are you, you were, you just moved though. I feel like you just moved and you went home. Yeah, I just moved. Mm -hmm. This is my home. I live in Boston. Yay. Okay. So you're a northerner too. (laughs) I'm a northerner. Yes. (laughs) I I flew south and stayed and we didn't leave. And now my soul feels happy. I didn't think that I'd ever want to be down in Florida. It was never like in my plan. And we can talk about Mm -hmm. like, you know, plans a little bit, but it was never Mm -hmm. in my plan, but it was in my husband's plan. And so we just Mm -hmm. up and moved everybody came down here. And I was like, I never thought about moving to Florida, but my, my body and my soul and everything feels good. You know? So what is that warm blood? Oh, totally. It's the sunshine. I swear. Like I was writing down today, what I love and what lights me up. And I wrote the sunshine, (laughs) like being in the warmth. Yeah. It's like food for plants. So, you know, it's got to be good for us. (laughs) That's a good perspective. I like that ginger. I like that. Well, cheers. Thank you for coming on tonight. Whatever your, um, whatever your cocktail is or water. I I got water. (laughs) Yeah. You're good. You're good. That's fine. That's fine. I always have my water too. I do my wine. I do too. (laughs) I have, I always double fist, but I'm glad that you were coming on here because obviously like you and I have connected outside of like the podcasting world. And I was trying to think, I'm like, how did I find Sabrina? And I was like, seriously, no. And then I was like, oh my God, that's right. Cause I connected with you on, on Instagram. And I was like, yeah. And I, I remember you just kept popping up in my feed, you know? And, and then I was like, I just loved everything that you were doing. And then I started, you know, I found your classes and I started taking your classes and I was just like, whoa, you know? And I started telling, I told Ginger about it. I told our other co-hosts who can't come on tonight about it. I've told my family about it. I told my friends about it. And then I was like, I think maybe Ginger and Nikki said, well, why don't you ever come on? You know? And I was like, yeah, Yeah. that's a great idea. Why not? Why (laughs) Why not? (laughs) So, you know, um, why don't you share? Cause I know a little bit about your story, but Ginger might not know a little bit about your story. So how did you, I just know that you do breath work and I'm like, breath work is finally something that when you say that people kind of know what you're talking about. It used to be, you would say breath work and people would have no idea. It's like, that's something you pick up at home Depot. Like what is that? <laughs> right. You know? And so I think it's ginger. You got to take a class. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jocelyn loves it. She's I've like, been, she does. She yeah. does. She's consistent. It's well, so good. And I bet you've been seeing the, the impact Jocelyn from just doing it consistently. Well, and that's the thing is, is I was scared to try something new and we can talk a little bit about what breath work really is. Cause I'm sure a lot of people are like, what are you talking about? I breathe every day. Like I'm breathing normally, like in through my nose, not through my mouth. What are you talking about? And I started it and I was scared, you know, I was like, what is this? This is new. Like, how do I do this? Like, mm-hmm. can I do this? And then you try it one time and I was hooked. So what is breath work? If someone's like, I breathe every day, what do you mean? Why do I need breath work? Yeah. <laughs> Well, breathwork is such a general term. Breathwork can truly mean like breathing in and out every day. It can mean box breathing. I feel like uh, some of the typical ones, like the more more common ones or or the types of breathing that people just think to when they think of breathwork is like diaphragmatic breathing, which is uh, breathing that really helps with anxiety. Um, And it's just breathing in and out of your belly. 
Um, there's like breathing in for four counts, out for six, like in for two, out for four, like just simple breathing methods that fall under that umbrella. Um, so when I say breath work, I'm referring to a specific technique, which is a three part breath. Right. And so this breath work technique that's so specific, it's more of like an energy healing modality. Um, and it just facilitates, as you know, incredible breakthroughs. It basically just the way I like to describe it is as you are doing two inhales followed by an exhale, you're just shaking up the energy in your body and it's allowing you to release stuck emotions, repressed emotions, um, trauma that's actually stored in your body. And there's just so many other things you can do with it, but truly as far as like a, a release, it's so, so good for that. That's why people uh, tend to cry during sessions. They don't really know why it's not like a sad tear or happy tears. It's just a release. Some people laugh the whole time. Some people yawn and it's just getting rid of all these things that don't serve us in our body. And that's what this specific type, one of the things this specific type of breath work does. And it's called, is it called revelation breath work? Is that the, yeah. the type of breath work that you do? Yeah. Yeah. So. It's called revelation. That's just the company that, um, I got certified from. Oh, okay. Okay. Cause you are a certified, you are, cer you're certified in revelation breath work, right? So that's your, and you're also correct. like a mindset and energy work. You know, like you're certified for mindset and energy as well. Correct. Yes. Yeah. You I know. You're like, you're like <laughs> all the things check, 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 check all my boxes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Give me all the things. <laughs> I know. And that's great. But like, it's interesting though, because it's kind of a personal story for you you know, and mm -hmm. how you got started in breathwork. Like I call it my spiritual awakening. Like, and it happened this summer it happened, you know, I have like a different story, but like, we're here to talk about your story, you know? And, um, I feel like you didn't just, Ginger always asks this. She always says, when you were in fourth grade, did you think you were going to be a mindset, you know, breathwork coach? <laughs> yes or no. <laughs> Imagine if I was like, a thousand percent. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't even know what I wanted to be at that age. Honestly. Um, but no, my, my journey started much later. It started technically. Um, I think now looking back now, I realize that all different things that happen along my life path have led me to this, but technically it started a year and a half ago. Um, and it was just after experience things so much loss in my life and uh having my own spiritual awakening and really I I lost my father-in-law I lost my dad and then I lost my job all within a month and a half yeah. um wow then, I thought you were gonna say a year and you said no, like a month that was a lot no, it, yeah and, and there was just so I got married in between it was just so many life changes and so many losses. Yeah, where's my wine? <laughs> yeah. Give me a bottle, uh, snap. <laughs> maybe I do need my wine. Um, it was just so much, and I really had no choice but to just. I mean, also COVID. Like we were in lockdown in Boston. I mean, everyone was in lockdown, and um, I was really forced to just do nothing, and it was the best thing ever. My nothing was just healing and figuring out what I could do to help myself feel better. And I started meditating more often. Um, I discovered breath work. I started putting out free, I think eBooks is when I, what I started with eBooks on how to heal grief through meditation and just whatever was helping me. I was just putting out there and then that organically grew into a business. But breath work has really been like the first time I did breath work it completely took me out of my body. <laughs> and Jocelyn knows that you can have those experiences. Totally. It took me, it was like a transcendent experience. Mm -hmm. And immediately after I signed up for their uh, certification, because I was like, more people need to know about this. It's, so can it's I ask just, you like, how is this different? Yeah. I have an app that's like, breathe for like, whatever, <laughs> you know, I would imagine it's different than the app, you know? So can you tell me yeah. like, how is it? Like, what is it like working with a breathwork kind of coach versus just my app pops up as a reminder and it's like, okay, it's time to breathe. And then it like walks yeah. me through something for two minutes. So like, mm, that's such a good question. Mm -hmm. um, first, the first part of the answer is that it's a, the specific technique. So it's not just a two minute bet two, between two and five minute thing. It's like our sessions are an hour and you're breathing for at least 
around 30 minutes. You're doing the technique for that, for that amount of time. Um, actually compared to other types of techniques like this, it's shorter, but yeah, it's more than just like a five minute, two minute thing. Um, that's the first part to the answer. The second part is that there's music paired with each session. Mm -hmm. And so like, for example, on Tuesday, I'm doing a session for self-love and music is an energy in itself. Like think about your favorite song and what that does to you, whether it totally. makes you cry, whether it makes you, right? Yeah. So we're just talking about cleaning. Like when I'm going to clean, I'm going to jam out yeah. on something. I'm not going to play something that's going to like make me cry. I can't clean to that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Right. Right. Exactly. And so it's the music is specifically chosen each week for that theme, but also music just amplifies the whole experience that you're doing with the breath. And then thirdly, when you're in a container, I mean, you've probably felt this way when you're interviewing people over Zoom, you feel their energy through the screen, right? Yeah, like you yeah. just like connect through the screen, you feel their energy through the screen. Think about when you are like, maybe you have a moment with someone over the screen and you both are crying, like you feel their pain, whatever yeah. that happens in a breathwork class. So whether people are conscious of it or not, they're actually in this energetic container and they're like everyone's breathing at the same time, whether you're physically with someone or not, energy transcends that screen. So it's just like, it's the music, it's the the duration, and it's actually being in a container with someone who holds space for you, but also you're just like so in tune with everybody else who's yeah. breathing, whether or not your screens are on. That's so cool. Uh, it's so cool. cool. Yeah. It's so cool. And then anybody out there that's listening and you think like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be on a screen like breathing. Like you just turn your camera off, like no big deal. You know, you turn on the beginning of it and then you turn it mm -hmm. off it while you're going through the whole process and you can turn it back on afterwards. Like there's been a couple of times where I was like <laughs> ugly crying, you know, like I yeah. just had like, a, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wasn't really ugly crying, but I mean, I did like, I had tears. <laughs> I had tears that were released during the thing. Okay, and I think if you're it, ugly crying. Well, I was ugly yeah. crying one time. <laughs> okay. it, was really, yeah. <laughs> it was, I think one time it was like, I had like a really, really powerful moment where I was like, holy shit, you know? And I just, just like, the tears were just coming out and I was like, oh, you know? And then I got, well, I was trying to talk about it afterwards because you can open up the mic and talk. And I couldn't even, I was like, just melted down and not really but it yeah. felt like I melted down I was like <laughs> oh, usually so right in the chat what her experience is because it's always it's always hard I try to open it up after class for people to connect but it's yeah. so hard to do that after you've had maybe an emotional time or you're just kind of like trying to ground back in your body and figure out like what just happened to you um yeah but pretty, yeah it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty and sweet I, and I, that's why yeah. I wanted you to come on and talk because it's like sharing this like you know, this is kind of like your journey and almost like, um, I don't know, like this is, I don't know. It's just like your journey and it's like <laughs> your life. It's now your life work, you know, and you're mm -hmm. sharing it and opening it up to other people, which I think is pretty cool. Like I dig that. Yeah. So oh, thank you. Yeah. I interrupted you. Sorry. What were you going to say? Well, I was just going to say there's a fourth part to that. And it, honestly, it's accountability. Like, why would you do it in a group or with a coach rather than an app? I can't tell you, like, I'm obviously so into breath work, but I can't do it on my own. I have to be totally. taking it from my trainer. Yeah. It's so hard for me to. No, get that app comes it. up. I swipe yeah. 99% yeah. of the time. I'm like, yeah. I'm busy. I'm not right. breathing for two minutes. Yeah. Like, it's no. easy to distract it. Just yeah. all that stuff, you know? And, and I really love like the Tuesdays, like that's kind of how I started. I dipped my toes in it and I did your community mm -hmm. breath work, which was really cool because it was just gave me an opportunity where it's like, this is, you know, not a huge commitment. I can just kind of try it out, feel it out. But once you do it, you're like, I was just like, sign me up again, you know, and how, how many, you know, and I do, I have been doing it regularly. You were fully addicted to the I breath was fully work. Addicted. Yeah, I <laughs> like was. she's like, like just... dumping her piggy bank out, like counting <laughs> pennies. She's like, how many breath work classes can I do? Yeah, I, was. <laughs> I love it. I was, but then, and then it was one of those things too, where I was ready to also take that next step. Cause you have bigger programs that are longer and more mm -hmm. like intense. And I was like, I think I'm ready. I'm doing it. And then I was like, life, <laughs> did not unfold the way that I wanted it to unfold. And I was like, this is not going to work out for me organically. And if I push for this, it's not mm -hmm. going to be what I want it to be. I have to be ready to do it, you know? So right. I think that's yeah. like, so is it like you work toward like, so I'm, I'm comparing it kind of to like a workout. Like it seems like a workout kind <laughs> of for like your body and mindset, but it yeah. seems like you're working like to something. Like, yeah. I feel like when I go to the gym, I work out, 
I'm just working out and then I leave and like, I feel better and it's great. But yeah. it sounds like, like you have like moments like that. It sounds like maybe the community classes are like kind of like a workout and then there's like something you can build to. Is it like a goal? Like are, do people have like a goal they work towards or? Yeah, no. So definitely it honestly just, I love that you compared it to a gym because I view this as a skill just as I view meditation as a skill. It's like you're at, you're training your brain, you're training your body, you're your, you work out to release, right? It's the same type of thing. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily say that you work up to anything. I, I just like having different price points for my offering. So someone who like, I have a donation class once a month for someone who maybe can't afford the lower price or any, anything else, you know what I mean? And so that's just like a, it's really a low risk, uh, option for people to try new ways of healing yeah. because you don't have to pay invest a hundred bucks or invest like a couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks right. to get healing. Like you can actually, the first class is free. So it's just basically like an entryway to, to try this healing and it's accessible. The other programs are for people who, I guess in the sense, like working your way up, it's the other programs are much more involved and, but you can do it if you've never done breath work before. So like, I just, closed doors on a program and there are people who have never done breath work before but have heard about it yeah and they're just in the program so it's so more it like really meditation where you're them. always working yeah like you can yeah. always be better at it yeah yeah, yeah. It's not like yeah. trying to get my splits mm-hmm. yeah and yeah. that was just I was just sharing like my experience you know it was one of those things where you yeah. know I just wasn't really sure I was getting myself into and then I was like this is what I can do with my time and my energy and like my budget you know and then I was working towards you know, maybe trying to, uh, dive into like one of the the bigger programs, but that's just my journey. So, okay. So people yeah. are like, okay, breath work. Okay. So you try it, right? Like, what does it do for you? You know, because I've had my own experience and I'll share it with you. Like I've had, I've seen colors, you know, I've had downloads, I've had messages. Um, I've literally mm. felt my, my feet and my bottom lower half of my legs, like ground into the floor, even though I sit and I know you say that I should be laying flat. Um, on the ground. You're you're my exception. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. I'm in a chair though. I'm like laying like in half flat in a chair. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to have to go back to why are you being a rebel about the laying down? Because there's not enough room and then I can't see her and I don't have a long enough. Oh, you do it in the closet? Yes. I'm in my (laughs) studio. Yes. Like, no, it's not a studio at that point. Now it's a clubhouse. It is a clubhouse. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, maybe I should move, but I'm all set up and this is like, yeah, what, no, you know, it's, it's whatever. my space it's working for you. Well, and then dogs aren't going to bother me. Kids aren't going to bother me. Mm-hmm. The man babe isn't going to bother me. It's my time. You know, I mean, even though they have walked in on me a couple of times, but um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, they have, but I've had like some, and then, you know, afterwards too, like, you know, just um, wild, crazy, crisp, dreams that you're kind of like mm-hmm. w- that wasn't just a movie that was like almost like an entirely different experience like you know? while you're awake no asleep like after oh, like, like a the couple next, days like when you sleep. yeah okay yeah you know so um and and I've had some you know some really powerful messages like the last one I, I look she she Sabrina says like if you want to you can bring like a notebook and you can write stuff down you know and so I went back to look at my notes before we came on tonight and I remember like the one message that came through was critical is in the passenger seat. Creative is driving now. That's what came to me. I was like, (laughs) mind blown. But keep in mind when you talk about going to the gym, beautiful, right? That just came out of like nowhere. But I said, I said, and and then also said by doubt and hello confidence. So those were things that came to me during my session, but you walk us through like a meditation, you know, you walk us through, you know, getting started. And then at some point you ask us to set an intention because you have to go into this with, you know, looking for something, right. I guess you would be able to word it better. Like how would, how do you word it? Like you, you tell us to set an intention or like, cause there's so many things you can do with Um, breath work. What, like, what do we do? Yeah, no intention is important. Uh, I just think it's so important to be intentional always, but so it's an energy practice, right? Yeah. So where focus goes, energy flows or we're fo- yeah, where focus goes, energy flows. And so the way I look at it is an intention, setting intention for this practice is basically just like choosing at least the beginning path 
or where you want your mind to go, where you want your energy to go, where you want your healing to go. Yeah. And then it just kind of opens up from there. But um, it's also a nice way to get people to just ground into themselves. Because sometimes the meditation before people are still in that like waking beta state in their mind and they're just like thinking about all these things. So it's a nice, if anything, it's just a nice like task to do. <laughs> it's like a mindfulness yeah. task that brings people Let's in. not make a grocery list. Yeah, in your that, mind. exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, yeah. And it's so, it's so wild though. Like how to like, what does breath work do for you? Because I know that there's so many different things that you can do. There's, there's been a time um, when, you know, like I had some like specific pain that was like all of a sudden coming, like shooting through between my shoulder and like my, I call it my chicken wing. And it just, it came in from nowhere. And it was just like, like a lightning rod right there. Like someone just went jab right in my back. And I heard you say like, breathe through. I'm like, is she reading my mind? Like, does she know? Like I have this, like, and you're like, breathe through the pain. And I was like breathing through. And then after the session, it was gone. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was really yeah. cool. That is okay. so uh, yeah. crazy. <laughs> It's, it's probably, so cool. it really probably, is. probably trauma, right? It was probably a, some sort of stored trauma that was like, I was trying to zhuzh out or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you're like, or honestly just your stress or just emotions that have been, or haven't been fully released. It could be anything. Honestly, sometimes I say like, it doesn't even matter what it is. It's gone. Like you yeah. work through it, but that's what breathwork can do for you. And I, I love hearing these stories because it's almost like, it's just proof that it works and it's proof that we are so much more than just our like physical bodies. Yeah. It's proof that where energy is around us and within like we are energy, you know, it's just, it's just such great proof. I'm so happy we're talking about all this because the stories are crazy. Like I'm never not going to use the word crazy because it, it just with you saying like that, I said something at the exact right time. I can't tell you how many times clients have said, oh, you told me to release my emotions the moment that I was holding them back. And totally, it's just like this. Yeah. So breath work can do all the things that you mentioned <laughs> um, that it's done for you. It, like I said before, it's, it does such a great job of releasing trauma stuck in your body, emotions stuck in your body stress in your body. It's a somatic healing practice. Um, but also as of lately, I've been using it to access the subconscious breath work is, is the fastest way that I've found that gives us access to our subconscious. So in meditation, you know, our, so we're not in our subconscious, like kids are, but we're not, mm -hmm. um, we're in our subconscious when we're relaxed or when we're falling asleep or waking up in the morning. So it's not like something that we have access to often we have to try. Um, and so it gives us access to that. And so you can do so much with breath work and, and mindset work. And if you're manifesting, you have limiting beliefs, like you need to reprogram those thoughts because your subconscious runs your life. Yeah. If you, like it just runs 95. So when you do your, your breath work, do you yeah. do it with a coach? Yeah. Or do you that. do yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So I not specifics with subconscious. I've been doing that on myself, but when I take a class, I do it with my trainer yeah. or he does, he has his own classes. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. I have to tell yeah. you too. And it also like helps you to, um, like you said, tap into like your higher self and like, Oh yeah. It's, there's a whole and... spiritual component to it. Yeah. Which I find yeah. like super intriguing too, because there's been, yeah. And I felt lighter. Like, I don't know about you, but like after one session that was really powerful, my whole body mm -hmm. felt like feather light, like really, really uh, light. Yeah. Yeah. It was, mm -hmm. it I was that often. Yeah. You know, do you think this would be good for kids too? Or is it like something mm. that's like deep for kids? I don't know. So that's, that's an interesting question. My coach, that's a great question. My yeah. coach has worked with kids, um, not young. I want to, don't quote me on this, but I want to say that he's worked with, uh, like preteens. I think like it's a really school. good age for preteens. Yeah. Middle school, just because they're starting to have like intense emotions, totally. <laughs> um, in a different way and like learning how to process that with their logical mind and things like that. 
Um, I know he has worked with that. I've never done that before, but I think little kids, it may be too much because it yeah. can result in like an intense energetic release. Yeah. Um, and they can't necessarily sit for more than like five minutes without losing their shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's pretty I intense. I think that this should too. be. Yeah. Yeah. I think that this should be, uh, introduced to college students too. Um, just because like that age or like late high school, that age is so they're going through so much and it's such a great way to just release high school trauma and just like all the crap. That's a great idea. They should put that in the phys ed curriculum. You know, I mean, how many times have we all played volleyball with a bunch of people? Like, I'm fine. I don't need any more volleyball. You know what I mean? I'm good. Yeah. (laughs) But like the breath work department, like that would have been nice. We could add a little like yeah. curriculum on that. Yeah. That would have been good. You're better so, than volleyball. Yeah. You're always like, you're like, we need a better home ec. We need better volleyball. Like you're like, you're Do always, I? Co- yeah, Am I constantly yeah, criticizing kind of, the a curriculum? little bit. Yeah, you kind of are, but that's okay. I wish I had better education, no. I guess. <laughs> Well, and also too, it's like, it, you know, breathwork is also like, not just for tapping into your higher self and you've talked about like, you know, intuitive and it's spiritual, but it's also like, if you're just, and you might have trauma, you know, like I had some things I wanted to work out, you know? And, um, so that's kind of where maybe I found you a little bit. Cause you did talk about, you know, helping people with trauma or loss, but I think you've expanded mm-hmm. on, you know, mm-hmm. your reach and your, your journey and, um, and your work, you know, and how you are helping other people. But, um, I think you said something about like, you know, if you're just like stuck at work, right. And you're just kind of like, you just need clarity, right? Like it's just could be as simple as which direction am I going and work with my, you know, my job or whatever, you know, it's just, it's a really simple, helpful tool to just sort of Mm -hmm. like be present in yourself. Yeah. And the answers kind of come to you, you know, and then you're more, I feel like I'm not fully understanding how this is different from meditation. (laughs) Well, then you're going to have to come to class. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) No. So breath work is an active meditation. It's especially Ah. good for people who say they can't meditate. And I put quotes because everyone can meditate. Um, You're just people, I'm just going to get spicy. People who say they can't meditate are just people who haven't been consistent in it. Um, Yeah. And so they're not trying as hard. That's all. It's okay. <laughs> I, I we mean, all do like it. It takes consistency and you have to wait a long time and put in yeah. work for the bigger picture to, to hone in on a skill and meditation is a skill. But if people want, we live in such a fast track uh, society, like we want things quick. Breath work is that. Breath work gives you the same benefits. If breath work gives you the same benefits and more yeah. than meditation. Um, and so basically it's different from meditation because you're actively breathing. It's like a, you're not just slowly breathing in and out. It's two inhales followed by an exhale. It's very active. Um, and it's a lot more powerful with meditation. I consider it passive and all of my crazy experiences in meditation didn't start happening to me until I was meditating consistently for months. And my meditations were like, 40 minutes plus. Yeah. And so you can have, that's why I think breath work is so much more powerful for lack of a better word, intense. Yeah. Because you can get those same type of experiences and access that same depth within yourself and your mind within minutes. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It is cool. I think you said something like, it's like the fastest way, right. To, to achieve like the theta, the theta brain or something like I'm not Mm -hmm. obviously um, or theta brain wave state. I think you've mentioned that before, right? That's like the brain wave t- state. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, that's the tech. That's the technical. Yeah, and it's yeah. true. It's true. It's true. I mean, I I don't really meditate. I take like five minutes. I put my feet on the ground in the morning. I just kind of like say like more of like oh, affirmation, nice. you know. And then I start my day, my my morning routine. But this is like something where. I've set aside time. Like you said, I'm accountable mm-hmm. because there's a group of people. Yeah, it's a community and. I have to carve out space and time, you know, and I have somebody walking me through it, you know, so I don't feel like I'm by myself, you know, and then you're like, oh, where's my grocery list? Oh, what I do? Did I walk the dogs? I didn't walk the dogs. You know, like, I feel like I would be less zoned in on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you're right. Like, and, but I feel like you can't just do it one time. I feel like you have to do it a couple different times. Like I'm on. Yeah. You can have like the most incredible breakthrough in one session and it could be your first ever session. You're 
like generally speaking, going to see the impact from breath 